Hi everybody, Try Mama here, AKA Bethany. So in today's video, we are going to do a, a Zoe stroller unboxing <gasps> and a uh, demonstration. We're gonna open it, set it up and check it out. Let's see how this goes. Oh, and also if you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe and watch the video all the way through so you can see how to get this stuff for a discounted price. So yeah, let's get into the video. First one. Pull it out of the bag. And hooks. You can see the, the latch on the side here. Now we're just going to pop in the wheels. We have directions, but who follows directions? Ugh. So let's go ahead and get these wheels popped on. Boom, we got cup holders in here. More cup holders, more wheels. We need the wheels. So, it looks like it just, like they're just gonna snap right in. That's in. That's what she said. <laughs> These are the brakes here. Boom, those are in. Now let's get the front wheels on. So that was super simple just to pop the wheels on. There was no like extra anything. You just snap it on. Material feels great, super soft. Okay, so we have the um, canopy. I'm gonna pop this in. Maybe you turn it. Oh, maybe you just open it. Let's see, right here. Boom. So that's in. Oh, that's really nice. This material is so soft. It's like just super soft. So I'm loving how everything can just snap right in. You don't have to like fiddle around with it, add any extra gadgets to it, which is nice. So it does come with this um, leather handlebar, and if you don't want this, it does have a cup holder option, but you cannot use it at the same time. So let's see how we take this off. And again, I did not read the directions. I'm just going with what feels natural. So it has these red little buttons here, like a trigger, you just pull back on both, and it pulls right off. So you have, actually you got a couple cup holders. What are, okay, so there's two that are the same. Actually, no, there's three completely different little guys here. See that shape, round, but the round, but that's like shallow. So I, I don't know what this one's for. Oh, okay, look at this. There's, there's a little hook over here.
Oh, okay, that makes sense. So mommy gets a cup holder, kids get a cup holder and a snack tray. If you want a belly bar, you have the option for the belly bar right here. Um, I like the fact that you get all the accessories in this. You don't have to pay extra for like a cup holder unlike uh, my other strollers. So this is a fun little surprise. I did not realize that came with it. So let's go ahead and try to get the second one put together. onto the front of this guy right here. I'm so happy I went with this gray. So pretty, you guys, so pretty. Okay, how do I open the, oh, just one? Okay, so there's just one latch on this side as well. Snaps open again, comes with two wheels, but these are just the front wheels. Where's the other one? More directions. Let's get that out of here. This is the whole thing right here. I thought it came with, I thought there was like an extra handle, but I guess this is what I was looking at on the internet. It's not really a handle. So let's try to snap these together. Okay, so it's fairly simple. You see the little, the little claws. You just want to snap the claws onto the footrest, like so. Oh, I guess you can't use any of the cup holders when you have this together. So let's get these off. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that was super simple. Uh, the downside is you can't, your kid in the back doesn't have like anything to put a drink in, but I mean, I do have a universal like bar, like it's a Velcro bar that goes around that has snack and drink holders in it. So I probably could put that right here. Um, let's see. I can put it here if I wanted to, the ones that came in here. But for now, let's just put the belly bar. Is there any more to this? I feel like, yeah, this popped out too. Okay. Okay, so there's a good amount of coverage with these, and then you can see that there's also a zipper on it, so you can make it a much larger canopy. Oh yeah, that's amazing. This is so good. I'm like really impressed with this right now. So here in California, it gets really hot, and a big thing for me in strollers is the canopies. I want to provide enough coverage for my babies. I don't want to get sunburned and, you know, be that mom that protects her babies. So I'm really into these large canopies. This is great. 
the peekaboo windows here. Is it magnetic? Oh, it is magnetic. So that's magnetic. Let's see. The mesh magnetic. It's not like a super strong magnet, but hey, I mean, it gets the job done. Let's put these on. Again, a nice leather handlebar, the mommy drink holder. Wow, I'm really liking this. You have a little Velcro pocket here for your cell phone, a little clip. So one of the things I like about this stroller as well is that the whole back end can come up. Make it nice. Let's roll it, you guys. And then we can just snap it shut. Okay, so the one thing about this snap is quite small, so it makes it a little difficult to like grab it. But this is all open, you can reach in, you can comfort your baby this way, like, like this. Oh, my little baby, calm down. Oh, here we go. See them from this side here. In my other double stroller, which is a side-by-side, -side, it's the um, Valco Baby Snap Duo. It also has this feature where this comes up, but it is a mesh net right here. So, I mean, it, they both have their, their perks to it. I like the, the, double, the double brake. This is nice too. And, I don't know what this is. These like two little loops right here. Maybe it's for like a, a stroller bag or maybe I'm missing a piece. I don't know. I don't know, but whatever it is, you got two little hooks here. So let's talk about, okay, so the recline is pretty flat. Let's see. Well, from this angle, it doesn't look super flat, but from the inside, from my eye, it look, and it feels pretty, pretty flat. Like you can use this for like a little guy or gal, and then to lift. I didn't realize it did that. So to make the back go up, you just pull the string. I'm gonna have to zoom in for you guys, but. It's a string you just pull. I thought, I saw this button, and I was like, oh, you're gonna have to like hold the button and pull. But no, you just, oh, maybe you push it up and just pull to where you want it. Okay, so the feeling of it coming down is a little jerky. Like you kind of have to put some muscle into that. So with the sleeping baby, it may wake your baby, but if you got that kid that sleeps deep, maybe it's not that big of a deal for you. For my kids, they sleep deep, it's not that big of a deal. So here we have the, the tandem front, the tandem front piece. So you can see the canopy comes really low on this part as well. You can always tuck it in if you don't want that. And lift it up. There's two little uh, levers underneath. You just push them up and you can push the foot press down. But you don't need to press the levers to get the foot pad up. You just snap it up. Adds a little comfort in the back one. Okay, cool. So the back one can fit the legs being up as well without it bumping each other. Now, if you want your child in the front seat to lay down, it may be a little, actually, is this as far as it goes? Oh, okay, so that's its lay down version. But this is up all the way right here. 
can see it's really straight. And it laying it down. That's as much as a recline as you're gonna get for the one in the front compared to the back. You see how far this, this goes? And then this one is about here. And you have the belly bar in the way as well, the part that snaps in. So the back of the belly is that belly bar there. And I like that you get two baskets, one here, one here. They could have left this with no basket, but I like the fact that they thought about adding in the second basket, more storage for a compact stroller. So far overall, I am giving it a nine out of 10 on my personal stroller rating. So let's go ahead and try to collapse it. Okay, so you got two red levers that you, again, just pull back on and pull up on the stroller itself. And then, how do we get this off? You just, oh, okay, you just pull it off. It comes right off. So this is them separate. And then to hold it is a handle. You can see right here, there's a little lock symbol and there's a handle. You just pull up on the handle. Maybe I should put these down. Pull up on the handle. You can see it is locked right here on the side. Very lightweight. And then let's do a large one. Let's put the feet down. Again, there's a lock symbol. You just pull up. Again, I'm gonna try to fold it with the recline as far as it goes. We'll see if it does it. And it's locked. I love that. I love the fact that it's two separate pieces. So you can, you know, play Tetris in your car. If you have a small car, just play a little Tetris. And you can get two pieces in versus a bigger, bulkier one where you're trying to get like a giant basin and then two bucket seats and all the accessories. And it's like 20 pieces that you gotta assemble and disassemble in and out of your car. So I'm liking this so far. Well, my first son, he's going on three, he's two and a half, and he's a very tall kid, he's in the 90th percentile, and my baby baby, he is in the 100th percentile, so my kids are tall when it comes to height. So I wanted to make sure that I got a stroller that had a very high back, and from the seat to the top of the canopy, so they have like room where a head won't be knocking about. And I also wanted to make sure that it can go up to, like both seats can go up to 50 pounds. Because most tandem strollers, the front seat only goes up to 35 and the back seat is 50 pounds. And I wanted both seats to go up to 50 pounds so I could have my older one up front and then the new baby in the back closer to me so I can, you know, be there for anything an infant needs at that moment. So that's why I went with this one and I did get the, the luxury version of this, not the classic, because I really liked the brown handlebars and this charcoal gray material. It is so soft, you guys. It is soft, soft. I love it. I can't wait. I want to go push my kids in it. You know, I'm going to show you a side by side of this one versus my double, my Valco baby double, ugh, sorry, I can't talk. My Valco baby snap duo trend side-by-side -side stroller. Now let's compare those two real fast. Be right back. 
So here's the Zoe again, side by side. And obviously it sticks out much farther than a side by side stroller because it is a tandem. And with the footrest up on the Valco baby, it, it meets um, the Zoe right where the handlebars are. So this your baby can get a nice recline and a stretch. And then with the foot, foot bar out on this one, yeah, it's a little bit longer. But I love that you can adjust the feet on both these strollers. And for it being a tandem and then allowing you to adjust the feet, that's, that's great. Again, that's the unboxing trash, you guys. Okay, and like I mentioned before, all the accessories came with it, with the purchase price. All of this was extra. Here is no netting on the back of this one. In this one, you have the netting. The Valco Baby is infant compatible with the insert when it lays down all the way flat like so, and the feet up, you have all the straps. He's just not strapped in yet. And the Zoe, I wanna say it, it's not. I have to double check. I don't believe this one is infant compatible. Um, I think it is from three months and up or six months and up. I will double check that for you guys. But no, it is not infant compatible. Here's the canopies. And then while while they're both down, it's a little difficult to get this one fully underneath the cover of the baby just because it feels like it's hitting. It is, it's definitely hitting this bar. So this part gets a little trapped for that one. But again, it's a very good coverage on both babies. Now here is the Valco baby cover this one is massive canopy like this amazing for California but see by side by side again it's still a very good coverage very good coverage the babies are like cocooned in this one covered in this one both have magnetic like baby. Like this material is just super soft. I think I'm gonna steam it to get the wrinkles out, but just super soft. This is a very good material. And this one feels like um, when you spill something on it, just wipe it away. Like it won't absorb it. This one feels like it may, may leave some spots, but again, it's just super soft. Really enjoying that. Same handlebars. The foam is not as thick on this one. It's a very thin bar. This one's a bit more beefy, a little thicker. And then this one, the way it collapses, you guys saw it earlier. You just pull the handle up here, which is considered not a clean fold because the, the part where the child sits in is exposed. Whereas this one is a clean fold and it folds into itself. And again, I will do a detailed video on this stroller for you guys later, so keep a lookout on that. But we won't get too much into this one. But just comparing the two, you can see I use this, this one quite often. But the wheels are a lot larger on this one versus the um, Zoe stroller. Maybe the Zade. Getting all antsy. Let's put him in a Zoe. Let's see how he looks in this one. Okay, here he is inside the Zoe. This is as um, flat as it goes. I did not adjust those. I just stuck a minute for you guys. And I have the footrest up for him. And you see my son right now, he's two months old and you can tell he's a long, a long baby. But I do, I do like the openness of this because then he can reach in, just give him his binky, you know, comfort him a bit. That's nice. With the one that has just the netting, it's still, it's a very nice option. Your baby ain't gonna fall out. Um, it's just, you know, you would have to walk around to comfort your baby, which is not that big of a deal. But this is a nice feature too. Let's see it shut. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, this this little buckle is not super easy. Like you think it would just be like a one-handed pop-off. Oh, here we go. Why was that such a struggle? Oh my goodness. Okay. So it has like little Velcro on here to keep it shut. Get the warranty papers off for now. Always send in your warranty papers, you guys. Always. There we go. That's nice. Hi. Hi. We just gotta adjust everything, huh? Put in an insert for you. What do you think? He likes it. That's, uh, yes, mom, I love it. So this particular stroller, I'm going to leave at my grandma's house because she watches the kids for me um, while I'm at work and she likes tandems. And I thought this would be a really nice one to get for her. And then I'm not gonna lie, I love it too. And I also would like to have the option to trade out whenever I want, because you know, I'm a little, I don't know. I just, I'm a little bit of a stroller connoisseur per se. Like I have quite a few strollers. This one is um, number five, technically. And I will do a full stroller review on all of them individually and show you how each one fits in my Tesla Model 3. So stay tuned for those upcoming videos. Okay, so I just double checked on the specs for you guys. I will um, insert a little photo for you guys for the, the tandem stroller. Uh, the total weight, net weight is 22 pounds. And then if you just have the, the actual stroller itself, not the attachment piece, this is 19 pounds. So just a couple pounds more if I have the whole setup, which is a very lightweight stroller. Um, not recommended over like crazy terrain because of you know the small wheels, but I mean, hey, do what you gotta do with your strollers, right? And it is Disney approved for all my, my Disney moms out there. It's definitely Disney approved. And the back, the backing from bum to canopy is 23 inches. So, oh, and the pricing on the stroller is 374 for the luxury, the luxury one. Um, I did buy that because like the material, I just, I really liked this. I wanted the material, bottom line. That's why I bought it. And then for the brown handlebars and stuff. Um, yeah, I got a little bougie with that, but hey, I wanted it. So I got it. But if you wanted the classic one, um, that one is $2.99 or $2.79, something like that. But I did find the classic, what is it? I did find the classic on Amazon. I'll link that down below. I'll link everything down below for you guys, um, whether you go through the Zoe website or Amazon, but the Amazon one, I did find it on there, the classic for one, uh, 199 and then a $50 discount code on Amazon. So that might be a good place for you guys if you're looking for this really cool, simple setup for two kids of different ages and for, you know, pretty cheap, I would get it from Amazon. Long story short, overall it's a great stroller and you can purchase it on Amazon, like I said previously, or if you want the bougier version, you can get that directly from the Zoe website itself.